the blackout addition game can be used for goal three extended addition. And you set it up very similarly to the next 10 game. You go ahead and have a deck of cards that's maybe got the zeros through tens or the aces through tens. And uh, hopefully if the students are in the concept building phase, they're using a number rack or another manipulative that might make sense. Now, when I made this game and put it in your resource books, I included on the left-hand side of the template for the game, uh, the tens, 10, 20, 30, et cetera. But I've decided since then that it really makes much more sense to just delete those tens, have the kids cross them out or cut them off the sheet, whatever you wanna do. Or you could simply have the students write out in order one through 10. So this is a blackout game. And again, the way this works is that students draw two cards when it's their turn. And those two cards in this case were 26. Um, but I'm looking at my blackout board and I've already had one turn and I've already colored in or put a marker on the four, which means that if I were to try and find the next 10, in this for 26, I would need to say it's four and I've already blacked out the four. So that's not gonna do me any good. So I wanna reverse the cards and think about 62. Now I haven't blacked out the eight more that it would take to get to 70. So that's what I'm gonna choose to work on. If they were, if both the four and the eight were already blacked out, then I just wouldn't get to black anything out this turn. But in this case, I get to put a marker on the eight or color it in or however you want to think about it. So now I'm a little bit closer to blacking out to, to coloring in all 10 of the numbers and that goal is that the student who has the most colored in by the time you say time is up for the game um, wins. And again, I don't give prizes or anything like that for those opportunities to learn their facts fluently. They just have the fun of the game. <laughs>